If I didn't edit my Instagram pictures, this is what my feed would look like. Would you double tap these pictures? Now, which of these feeds would you choose? I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say this one, the edited one. As you can see, editing your photos really can make all of the difference. The fact of the matter is our cameras don't always capture the world as we see it. Sometimes lighting conditions might not be ideal or colors might appear more washed out than they actually looked in real life. Not to mention that there could be objects distracting from the subject. So if you've ever wondered why your photos that you're taking and posting on Instagram don't look like that influencers that you follow, odds are it's because you're not editing your photos. Hey, hi, hello, I'm Shannon, your creative mentor. Thanks for tuning back into my channel. This channel is about all things you need to know to take a better photo. And these tips aren't necessarily for people who are aspiring to be photographers or even influencers. You may just wanna take a cuter, cooler, better looking photo when you're out and about with your family or your friends. So why should you be editing your photos? Editing your photos before you post on Instagram can not only help you stand out, but it's also a super important step in the photography process. This is called the post-production stage because really, no photo is good to go right out of the camera. Like I said before, your camera doesn't always capture the world as you are seeing it in real life. Let's take a look at some examples of my photos before I edited them. And if you just wanna skip ahead to learn the five reasons you absolutely should be editing your photos, I got you. Just check the timestamps listed below and you can skip ahead to the section that you wanna watch. As you can see, my photos don't really have a ton of drastic edits made to them. It's really just brightening each of the photos and bringing out the color so that they really pop. And that fits the bright and vibrant style that I like. Do you have to heavily edit your photos? No, absolutely not. It's really about two things, your preference and what the photo looks like when it came out of your camera. Of course, editing some photos may require a little bit more effort than others, Again, depending on your preference and what it looked like out of the camera. So if you like super bright photos and your photo came out very dark looking, it might take a little bit more effort for you to achieve your desired look. The main program that you're gonna wanna use to edit your photos is Adobe Lightroom. They have a desktop version and a mobile version, so you could use whichever one is easier for you. Um, or you can use Adobe Photoshop, which helps for some editing things, but again, Lightroom is probably the platform that you wanna use most. If you wanna use mobile apps instead, you can use ones like Visco or the Teza app, or you can even edit in the native like iPhone photo app. I'm sure Android allows you to do that as well. Okay, so now that we've seen a ton of examples of why I've edited my photos and how I've been able to make them look better, here are some reasons that you yourself should be editing your photos. Reason number one, lighting. Sometimes when you take a photo, the lighting situation might not be ideal. Whether the light is uneven, so like maybe you are dark and behind you is light, or the picture is overall too bright, overall too dark, editing your photo can just help you balance out the light. Adjusting the exposure, the brightness, the contrast, all of these are ways to adjust the lighting. So for example, in this photo, when I took the photo, it was way too dark. I learned the hard way that sunrise isn't really a thing in Yosemite Valley because the sun has to come over the mountains into the valley. So the valley was super, super dark. Granted, this was at six in the morning. So anyway, it was super dark. So here's what happened when I edited it. It's much brighter, much lighter, and allows you to really see the details in the picture. Reason number two, removing distractions. And by distractions, I mean anything that could be in your photo that can distract your eye from the subject of the photo. So if your photo has unwanted elements in the background or the foreground, editing can help you remove and minimize these distractions. And these distractions can be just as small as trash, like here on the Brooklyn Bridge in New York, or there could be a lot of distractions like here in Kauai. There were so many tourists at this lighthouse destination in Kauai, and this is obviously normal and is not a bad thing, but here when I removed all of the tourists, I become much more of the focal point and the photo to me feels a lot more intentional. Number three, showcasing your individual style. Editing allows you to infuse your unique personal style and creativity into photos making your feed unique and engaging for your audience or just your family and your friends. But don't feel like you have to put yourself in a box where you choose one style and then you have to stick with it and you can't change it again. 
you will change, your likes will change, and it is okay if your photo editing style changes as well. I mean, trust me, my feed has changed more than a couple times through the years, as you can see. Okay, but if you're like, how will I know what my personal photo editing style is? I, I totally get it. I got you. I actually created a quiz. It's super easy, super short, and it'll help guide you into knowing and learning what your personal photo editing style. I linked it down below in the description so you can go ahead and take it if you'd like. Reason number four telling a story. Editing can help you emphasize key elements in your photos, creating a narrative that you're trying to convey to your audience. And as we just went over, you could add any flair to your photos that you want that will help you convey your story. So vintage, colorful, muted, moody, airy, all of those vibes represent you. So whatever you choose will represent you and tell your story. I mean, just look at different movies and the cinematography in those movies. Dark Knight and Pride and Prejudice are super different, right? I mean, just look at their key art. Dark Knight, super moody and dark, and then Pride and Prejudice, light and airy. And last but not least, number five, consistency. Consistency with editing your photos can just help people identify your content better and honestly, just looks pretty nice. Otherwise, your feed might end up looking kind of like this. Now, if you look at this and you simply just do not care, <laughs> you do you, boo-boo. You do not have to have all of your photos edited consistently. But if you look at this and you've it feels a little bit chaotic to you, then you probably want to be editing all of your photos consistently. And especially if you're using your Instagram profile for business purposes, edited photos tend to lend a more polished and professional appearance. This means having the same blue tones for all of the skies or the same overall brightness or darkness across all of your photos. So what do you think? Will you give editing your photos a try? It's not really just all about fixing flaws. It's about preserving your memories in the best possible way and putting your best foot forward. And honestly, it doesn't have to be hard or time consuming to edit your photos because Nowadays, editing tools are literally at your fingertips. If you're wanting to edit your photos but feeling a little bit overwhelmed with where to start, I created a whole line of presets that will help you transform your photos with minimal effort. There are 12 different preset packs, so you could be sure that you're gonna find at least one pack that fits your style. And if you're seeing this before or during Labor Day weekend, we are running a big sale for the weekend, so make sure you check it out, linking it down below. Alrighty friends, that is all we have for today. Make sure you don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We have so much more to chat about all things photography.